Hi everyone, in this video I'll be sharing what I regard as one of the most powerful and underutilized tools in Lightroom. Lightroom Snapshots allows you to unlock the power of creativity and streamline your editing process. If you're not already using Lightroom Snapshots, you're missing out on a game-changing way to take your photo editing to the next level. Virtual copies are also another useful tool I use and I'll share a handy tip about them a bit later, so stick around for that. When it comes to photo editing, it's not always easy to know exactly how you want the final photo to look. This is where Lightroom Snapshots helps solve that problem. It allows you to save multiple versions of your edits and switch between them with just a single click. This means you can experiment with different edits without the fear of losing your original file or making changes that can't be undone. For example, if you're working on a wildlife photo, you can create different versions of your edits with different effects like warmer tones, a darker vignette, a black and white conversion or something a bit more dark and dramatic. This allows you to try out different edits and compare them side by side to find which one best represents your vision. Another great feature of snapshots is that they're completely non-destructive, meaning they don't alter the original image in any way. This means you can create as many snapshots as you want without worrying about losing the original image or making changes that can't be undone. Snapshots are easy to use in Lightroom. Go into the develop panel, select the image you want to work on and start editing. When you want to create a snapshot, go onto the left panel where it says snapshots and hit the plus icon. A new snapshot dialog will appear. Give the snapshot a name or leave it as the default time and date and click create. You'll see the snapshot listed inside the snapshot panel. Continue editing the image and when you've created a second version you like, create another snapshot, add a name and click create. You can create as many snapshots as you like. To view each snapshot, simply click the name and the image will change to that version. If there is a snapshot you don't like, you can simply right click on it and select delete. Or click onto the snapshot to view it and hit the minus icon to delete it. As you can see, this is a powerful way to work through an image and fine tune it to exactly what you want. I often use snapshots to try different treatments to an image, especially if I'm unsure of how I want my images to look. But for now, let's have a look at a real world example of how to use snapshots on this line image. So the first thing to do will be to go into the develop panel and I'm just going to throw in a bunch of very quick conversions to this image just to start creating some snapshots. So I'll click on snapshots here. This is version one. As I said before, you can name them if you want to be more specific with each snapshot. So for this next version, I'm going to drop the saturation, warm it up a little bit, and throw in a bunch of dehaze to add some contrast. Let's call that number two. And for this next one, I'm just going to create a quick black and white some contrast there name that number three and then bring this back to a color version and i'm just going to throw a nice faded preset on here just to fade the blacks nicely drop those highlights let's add a vignette to the image very artistic i'm going to call that snapshot number four and then for this fifth snapshot let's just add some color grading Maybe some more brightness, drop the whites a bit to make it a bit softer and raise the blacks. So that will be number five. So after going through all the editing and creating all the snapshots, you can see the list there, number one to five. I can then click on number one to see the first version we created. Number two, number three, number four, and number five. What you can then do is if you liked, let's say number three, and you want to create a different version of that, then you can add some more setting changes here, and then create number six, or you can maybe make it 3.1, for example, then you know 3.1 is a, a spin-off from version three. And then once you are happy with what you have done creatively, then go through each one and you can then select and keep certain versions. So let's just go through this number one. Let's say I don't like that one. I'm going to delete number one. Number two, I don't like number two. I'm going to delete that. Let's say number three, I prefer 3.1. So I'm going to delete that one. I like this black and white conversion. 
this number four version and number five, I feel like the number five is better. So I'm going to delete that number four there. If I want to keep various versions of the image visible and want them to appear on the Lightroom grid and film strip, I would then use a virtual copy of the image for each version. To create a virtual copy, simply right click on an image, select create virtual copy, and you'll see a copy appear to the right of your original photo. I can then apply each different edits to each virtual copy by simply clicking on each respective snapshot I created on the original file. Snapshots are copied across to virtual copies. To remove a virtual copy, simply delete it by selecting it and hitting the delete or backspace key. For ideas on how to edit your images differently, check out this video next where I show you how I create dark and dramatic edits to my wildlife photos.